Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can activate switch. This is very, very important and generally is done after taking a long decision, checking with SAP what is the functionality that you want to implement. So this is something that is very dangerous, but is very effective. So what happens is generally you have a discussion with the basis team because sometimes some of the switches, if it is switched on, it cannot be switched off. So it's like an enhancement that is switched on, but you cannot take it out and all these things. And it affects the system permanently. So you always want to do it in a sandbox. So the transaction code is SFW5. And here you can see, it. so you have different switch for different, uh, different functionality that you want to check. So you, you here you can see different switches based on industry and all those things. You have different switches for different process area. Okay, so let me go to some switch related with uh, suppose MM. Okay, so there is a bunch of switches for MM. So here you can see there are switches that you can use SFWS MM performance. So anything which is green has been switched on. Anything which is red is switched off. Okay. And here you can see these these are some of the switches that are available. So this is green. So if I go here, this is red. So here you can see uh, here you can see further implementation. What are the things? Does it give any documentation? So if I go into this, it will tell you details of how you can use it and how it can be activated and all those things. This is very this is very very useful and very very dangerous. Here. Generally, when you have the switch is like one of the last option that you want to check because it may affect something standard SAP and it needs to be heavily tested because it might solve one issue, but uh, it may cause other issues that you are not uh, aware of. So you want to do it in sandbox so that if it gets affected, and there's lot there's a lots of switches. Okay, so if I go here, you can see master data governance for business partner. That's Bupa, so you have switches for uh, different types of things, you know. Uh, so there is switches in the IB, IMG node and all those things. So this is very, very useful, but you want to consult with other people and uh, check with basis, check with SAP, uh, because SAP will recommend this, and then, you know, uh, this will be the last thing you want to trigger. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning, and if you like it, share and subscribe to it. And have a great day and happy new year.